This is a conversation between Ellen Atkinson, Regional Advisor for the East of East Midlands and East of England, and Carol Robinson, who is the Regional Advisor for the South West and the West Midlands. And we're here to talk about the new vocational profile produced by Preparing for Adulthood. Ellen, would you like to start by talking about what a vocational profile is? OK, it's a way of gathering information that is specifically related to work and supporting someone to find a job. Why do you think we need a vocational profile and why is it important? Well, it's a person centred approach to finding out what a young person wants to do. And if it's not done, then we don't know enough about a young person in relation to their aspirations for work and how to get the best job match for them. What do you think would work best? Is this um, tool useful for a young person or an individual to do on their own? No, it should be done through a conversation or a series of short conversations. It's not intended that a young person does it by themselves, but for someone to support them to complete it. So who should be involved then? Ideally, it should be someone who's going to support the young person on a work placement or an internship or by a job coach in a supported employment organisation who are going to help them find and keep a job. When do you think it should be carried out, Carol? Um, well, it could be used from um, school year eight or nine and integrated into the school curriculum. Um, it could also, as you say, be used by a job coach within a sports and employment organisation for uh, uh, older individuals. And, and how do you think it differs from a CV, Ellen? The difference between a vocational profile and a CV is that a CV is a way of summarising a person's experience, skills and interests to prospective employers. And a vocational profile could inform the content of the CV, but a vocational profile is a discovery document that helps a young person explore what they're interested in. And it should be a live document kept online and updated after any kind of work experience or work placement. And we, um, we would advocate that a summary should be attached to the education, health and care plan if the young person has one and into the young person's personal file. It could be any student. Um, and we have produced a um, summary sheet that's going to be available to go with the vocational profile and that could be used. Um, it is possible for people to um, do their own version of that, but it should contain the key information. And ideally, the young people should have a copy to share with their parents or carers. And what information is in a vocational profile? Well, there are details of where someone lives and who they live with, information that helps understand what support a person might need to do a job. Um, or to get the right kind of work experience. Um, and it helps like, to identify areas for development, such as learning how to travel independently or telling the time or using money. And in the new Preparing for Adulthood vocational profile, the questions in section four are specifically designed to gauge what support a person might need in the workplace. And in section three, the questions are designed to understand the things a young person enjoys to inform what work experience or job they would be interested in trying. How, how do you think the information will be used? Well, the idea is to build up a rounded picture of the individual so that the best possible match can be found between a person's interests, experience, skills and preferences with the opportunities that exist. Um, Ellen, do you think that employers should see the vocational profile? Well, it can be shared with the young person's permission, particularly if it would be useful to the employer to help make reasonable adjustments in the workplace for the young person. Doing a vocational profile is an opportunity to find out what a person is interested in and why. There's a section within our new profile where the individual has an opportunity to say what job interests they have, which is really important. Even if their idea seems completely out of reach, it shouldn't be dismissed. It's important to pick up what it is that appeals to them and to use that to help you build an understanding of what might be worth trying. So, for example, um, a young person says that they want to be a police officer, 
but that individual may not be able to meet the eligibility criteria, say around height. Um, they may also have limited mobility and no qualifications, and there may be some other issues that are likely to prevent entry to the job. So we would say that it's a good idea to think about what it is that motivates them or interests them in that particular job. And it might be the uniform or it might be they've got an interest in police vehicles or they might have an interest in detective stories, so particularly for something they've seen on the television. Or it might be that they've got, you know, they want to be helpful and they want to save people from harm or get justice for people. And if we've got that information, then we can think about what other roles there are in the police force that might be open to the person, bearing in mind that these may be behind the scenes. Alternatively, we might be, need that information to help us think about other similar roles that don't have so many restrictions associated with them, such as being a security guard. That's really helpful. So to reiterate, doing vocational profile is an opportunity to find out what a young person's interested in, what their skills and talents are. It's a way of opening doors to what's possible. It should be a motivating conversation and not one that leaves young people feeling that they can't succeed. Absolutely.